Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would talk about some of my most worn perfumes for spring of 2023. Let's go ahead and jump right in. The first one is going to be MFK's BR540. Um, you can see here that the bottle is more than halfway gone. Uh, this is such an easy reach fragrance for me. Um, it mixes well with so many other fragrances. It is perfect for year round. I have worn it in all seasons, indoors, outdoors, and it never becomes too overpowering or too cloying or gets lost in the cold. This is just a really fantastic fragrance. Not for everybody. I've heard some of the um, type of interpretations that people are getting when they smell it, but on my skin, this works really well. And I reach for it all the time. It's definitely one of my dumb, easy reaches um, when I don't know what I want to wear, or if I just want to know that I'm going to smell good all day, no matter what, for no, for any occasion. Another one that I have is uh, Valentino Donna. This is the Born in Roma. Um, so I have the 50 ml bottle here, and you can see it is almost gone. Um, Oh my gosh, I love this so much. So this is just a really beautiful, um, like black currants and jasmine. I think there's like jasmine, three different types of jasmine in this fragrance. It's witty in the base. Uh, I think almost everybody ha either has this or has tried it. It's very popular. Um, I've actually, usually last year when I got this, I wore it all the way up until summertime. In the summertime, it became too potent for me. And I actually have been wearing it this summer and it either because my nose has adapted and whatever was bothering me last year doesn't bother me this year, or just as this has aged and um, settled, it whatever that sharpness that was in there that was bothering me just isn't there anymore. I have been layering it with another fragrance that I wear that I've actually worn way more than I anticipated in this past spring, which is uh, Kaeli's Vanilla 28. And I've been wearing this sometimes on its own, but I've been layering it with a lot of things. Um, so I have seen and heard people talk about layering it with this. I, I was skeptical, not because I didn't think it would smell good, but just because I liked this so much on its own that I didn't want to kind of interfere with the fragrance profile by adding vanilla, but it is nice sometimes to change it up. I spray the vanilla on the base, and then after that dries, then I'll go in with some of the uh, Born in Roma, and it's just an even deeper, more vanillic, richer kind of alluring fragrance. Really like that combination. Um, let me go ahead and put that to the side. And then the next one is Kayali Deja Vu White Flower. If you've watched a lot of my previous videos, you will know that this is a new bottle. I had the 50 ml one before and it is completely gone. I've gone through it. Um, and so I finally cracked into this brand new one. You can see the difference in the juice. When I got the 50 ml one um, last year, it was this color. And as it ages, the vanilla starts to darken the fragrance and it gets richer and sweeter. So I can definitely smell that this is a new bottle. I still love it. Um, I wore it the other day, but I'm, I'm just excited to crack it open into a new one. Um, I don't go through a whole bottle. So that was like the first full sized bottle of perfume that I went through. Um, so I actually layered this yesterday with the Born in Roma, and I think I probably heard someone else recommend it, and I was very skeptical because, again, this is one of my favorites. I don't layer it that often with things. Um, this is also one of my favorites, but I spritzed this on the base, a couple spritzes of this on top, and I could not stop smelling myself. Beautiful combination. This is another one that I didn't wear last summer because I found it too cloying, but I'm definitely going to be wearing that combination more um, into the summer months because it was fantastic and not over too, uh, not too overpowering. Okay, and then the next one that I wore a lot in spring, like I wore this, I was on my perfume tray and I probably wore it at least for half the month, um, is the Parfums de Marly, and this is Cassilli. This is one of my favorites from the brand. Oh, it's this like creamy, slightly fruity, like peach plum. Um, it's a little bit tropical and 
really creamy, vanilla type woody base. It's a beautiful fragrance. I really love it. Very tropical. Great for, I think, all seasons. I've worn it year round and I like it year round. And what I was doing with this sometimes on the days when I didn't want to wear it on its own and wanted to layer, I would start off with Kayali's Vanilla 28. Let that dry down. And then I would add in some Deja Vu and let that dry down. And then finally I would top it off with the Casilli and it is one of the most addicting combos I've ever tried. I love wearing these three together so much. I was just radiating fragrance all over, all over the place. It's a good thing that most of the time when I wore that, I was by myself. If I was wearing this out and about, I probably would do a couple spritz less of each one, but I wanted to soak in all that yummy goodness. Okay. And then the next two that I have, um, so this is a fragrance that I actually recently bought maybe a couple months ago and had it on my perfume tray for maybe April or May. I can't remember one of those two months. Um, so I bought a, a travel from Scentbox and went through it in like a week, um, which is rare. It ta usually takes me a really long time to get through um, like samples like that, but I was wearing it almost every day. I could not get enough. And then I went and bought a not just the full size bottle, but the 200 ml bottle. I found a really good deal on Max Aroma. Um, and so I also put a little dent in that considering that I've only had it for a couple of months and I went through an 8 ml travel before. This is a beautiful uh, sheep floral fragrance and uh, it smells so good. It just smells like elegance. It smells classy, very feminine, sweet, um, floral. I don't, I don't even know, remember all the notes that are in here, but I definitely recommend if you can get a sample of it to get your nose on it. This has quickly shot up to being one of my top 10 favorite perfumes in my entire collection. And the bottle is gorgeous. I love rose gold, the rose gold accent and the juice in here is just wonderful. I love this fragrance. Um, and I wore it again the other day and, uh, yeah, just so good. Such an easy reach. This is definitely when you can reach for it for any time, any occasion. You know you're going to smell good and it's going to be appropriate for anything that you're going to do. Um, errands, uh, brunch, hanging out with your friends. I think even dinner would be nice because it's such a classy, sophisticated, elegant scent. Um, so I reach for this a lot in the spring. Like I had to force myself to put it down. And then the last one I have um, is one of my more recent purchases also. This is Kristen Dior's um, Gris Dior. So this is a fragrance that I got a sample of, tried, wasn't that impressed, bought the Feminine Pluriel. I don't know if I said the name of that. The last one was uh, MFK's Feminine Pluriel. Um, so after buying Feminine Pluriel and then I felt like it reminded me of Gris Dior, which I didn't understand why because they don't smell the same. But I went back to the sample, tried it again, and really just took the time to let it sit on my skin. And they are both cheaper fragrances. This is just, this is a little drier. Um, it's not sweet like the other one is. This is definitely leaning more unisex. The other one is definitely what I would consider more of a feminine fragrance, although it would smell great on anybody. Anybody wearing that I think is going to smell fantastic. Um, but I went through that sample and then a second sample and really fell in love with this one. And I went ahead and I bought the big 250 ml bottle because I felt like that made more sense economically because I knew I would burn through the 125 ml bottle. So I got twice as much for about $120 more. But this is just a really beautiful, everyday, fresh, clean, slightly floral. There's some patchouli in here. So if you don't like that, sample it. It's not a safe blind buy at all. It's got a very earthy opening. And then that mellows out and the rose in here comes out. And it's just this beautiful, sweet, delicate, fresh, clean, but not soapy fragrance on the skin. And I have already put a bit of a dent in here, especially considering that this is 250 mLs. Um, I'm hoping this will last me 
for a long time. This is also another one that I had to force myself to stop reaching for because I was spritzing it on every day when I first got it. Get up, get ready for work, spritz this on, and I wasn't paying enough attention to the other fragrances in my collection. Okay, so here are my most worn fragrances for spring of 2023. Please tell me below um, what you've been wearing a lot this spring and any recommendations you might have for me. Um, I'm always looking to sample new things. I've gotten some really great recommendations from people in the comments below that I've gotten my nose on and will be adding to my collection soon. Other than that, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you